Alright, so we now are in the final section. So your homework, if you write it down or you came in, should say um, chapter 20 review, because really with exponents it's just kind of like let's put all of our ideas together now. Um, so you say you may see some questions repeated on the homework, that's because they're important. So getting those zero skills, those negative exponents, all that sort of work. So we want to write four expressions equivalent to 2 to the 13th. Now, if we want to think technically, there's infinitely many. So we're not talking right versus wrong here. I mean, there are wrong answers, but there are infinitely many right ways to do this. So I want you to try, take a moment, write four different expressions using 2 to the 13th. And I challenge you, try to make each of them different. Like, don't make them all multiplication, because then you're only showing one skill. So, like, an easy way that I can make them. Are you looking for today's notes? Yeah. They're right here. An easy way that I could make them. Ellie, what could I do with 2 to the 10th? end up with 2 to the 13th. You could add uh, 2 to the 3rd. So do I write plus 2 to the 3rd? No, you don't want to Ah, so to add the exponents, I have to multiply the values. Why? We already covered this. Oh, right. If you did 2 to the 10th plus 2 to the 3rd, you do 2 to the 10th yeah. and 2 to the 3rd. Then, add them together. If we're multiplying, we multiply these values. There's 10 twos here and three twos here. So in total, when I have a string of multiplication, that has 13 twos. So, Mr. Hone, can you give me a, where are you at? Oh, there's my special. Um, can you give me a different way. Yes. Okay, how? 2 to the um, 7 times 2 to the 6. Wait. That's still the same, really. But it's I'll give numbers. it to you. But that's the same skill. Yeah. Mr. Hoover, can you give me one using a um, different skill? Yes. Uh, I'm supposed to bring Hayden. Because it's so Oh. Yeah. So you can that's what you'll do. Yeah. And then you use um hmm, what's it? Twenty on the top and seven twenty is the exponent, six is the exponent, and then eight is the sum of the exponent. So this won't work. Yeah. Here's the problem. You're thinking if we had something like 2x to the 13th, then we could do 16x to the 20th, oh. 8x to the 7th, the 16 and the 8 would reduce to 2, the x powers would reduce to x to the 13th, but since the powers on the 2, 2 has got to be your base. Now here's something interesting. What you actually did right here, and this goes deeper into exponents than what you guys realize quite yet, Here's what you've done. 16 is actually a power of 2 on its own. But 16 is actually 2 to the 4th power. So right now, you have 2 to the 4th to the 20th. On bottom, you have 2 to the 3rd to the 7th. So with what you've written, you actually now have 2 to the 80th over 2 to the 21st. So, you guys don't know how to do all this yet, but what I've done is rewrite 16 as a value with 2 as its base, which doesn't work for every number. Like 17, that wouldn't work. But 16, I can use 2 to multiply up and get 16. I can use 2 to multiply up and get 8. So, this only works out well because they can both be written in powers of 2, but this doesn't come out to be what we want it to be. This would come out to be... 2 to the 59. Or could I just 
kind of trying too hard. Let's do a division one, but use two as your base. So do that 20th power, but do it to the two. So then what do you want your denominator? What do you want? And what do you want the base to be still? The base is still two. How many powers do we need to take away from the numerator? Seven power. That is two to the 13. This, because I have 20 twos on top, seven twos on bottom, seven of the twos will cancel out. Now we could write it like just starting more complicated and look at the different forms, but we don't have to. Julie, you have your hand up. What's up? Uh, I have a question. Okay, what is it? Yeah, could. Or you could do 8,192. I want to do a last one that's that's like what Andrew's trying to do. So do you know how to do something like that, Marissa? Um, look at it. It's 1 divided by 2 to the negative 15. Yeah, so if you set it up upside down with a negative, so if you do 1 over... 2 to the negative 13th, a negative power in the denominator tells you we'll flip it to the numerator. Because this is actually 1 over 1 over 2 to the 13th. Wait, what? Division by a fraction, multiplication by the reciprocal. So this becomes 1 times... 2 thirteenths over 1, which is how I get 2 thirteenths. But, so stick with me, this works, but I want to try one more hard one. Let's do the numerator first, and let's use Andrew's 16 that he wanted to use. So let's do 16 to the fifth power. That is actually, and that's going to be my numerator, so stick with me. Please write these. You don't necessarily have to do all these but it's like more fun the deeper you go with it. 16 is 2 to the 4th. Because 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2 is 16. This now becomes 2 to the 20. Because 2 to the 4th to the Fifth, remember power to a power? This is two times two times two times two. Five times. So then my denominator will still needs to be two to the seventh, just like we had over here. So I could either just write two to the seventh, or I could put in what two to the seventh is. Or I could get real creative. Square root What does a square root do to the power? I'll make it uh absolute. Jeremiah, you had your hand up. Sorry, other people were rudely talking about you having your hand up. I was just gonna say find the power of the so let's think about this. 16, right? We, we've talked about 16. So up here, you've got space up here. Square root of 16 comes out to be 4. But what is 16 really? Well, we just said 16 is actually 2 to the 4. So really, I could say the square root of 16 is the square root of 2 to the 4. Well, we know it becomes 4. Right? We know that answer is 4. Square root of 16 is 4. We know that. What's another way that I can talk about 4? 2 times 2, right? What is, what's another way I can talk about 2 times 2? Two? 2 to the second. This really becomes 2 to the second. 
so what a square root does to your power chops it in half. So if I square root 2 to the 14, that becomes 2 to the 7. No, because this root operates on the power. Because this to the 14th, I could represent as the number it really is. And I could square root the number that that really is. And I could figure out what actually is 2 to the 7th. They will come out to be the same. So, hold on. 2 to the 14th is a very, very large number. 16,384. You did something. 2 to the 14th power. Now, 2 to the 7th power, that's, hey, I'm trying to talk to you, but you're not paying attention. You did 2 to the 7th. Or, you typed in this. That's not 2 to the 14th. That's square root of 2 to the 14th. So, 2 to the 14th, this actual value is... 16,384. When you square root that, you get 128. Which is that value. So whether you're working with the powers or whether you're working with the physical numbers, you're getting the same. So what I'm trying to get you to understand here is square roots, take a power, and chop it in half. So if you've got a power in the root, just cut your power in half. Questions on that? Okay, you'll do a lot more of that as you get into eighth grade stuff, but I just wanted you to be well aware of that. So, I'm going to use cards to see if people can help me with this. We're almost through the deck, but we just shuffle. Colin, if I have 5 to the 1st times 5 to the 8th, how many 5s do I really have? I really have 5 to the 9th, because I'm 1 there, 8 there, 5 to the 9th. Jaslyn, what about 5 squared times 5 to the 6th? Remember, this is 5 times 5. This is hmm? base is 5. So how many 5s did we have multiplying in total? Yeah, so we get 5 to the 8th. So number 2 is 1 that comes out to equal 5 to the 8th. Elena, what about 5 to the 16th over 5 squared? This is the most common mistake right here. I would somehow mark three as a warning, as like an alert. Evie, what's five. that gonna become? That's gonna become five, four, five to the power of fourteen. Five to the power of fourteen. Yeah. Not five to the eighth like you're tempted to do. Those subtract because they can only cancel or really reduce to one. We don't we're gonna start trying to use the word cancel less. Two fives on top and bottom reduce out to one. There are 14 fives left over on the top, just all multiplying by each other. That's how I get five to the fourteen. Jeremiah? Five to the eighth. Five to the eighth to wrap us up. Because it's an exponent to an exponent. So that's 5 squared 4 times, so 5 squared times 5 squared times 5 squared times 5 squared, which is really 5 times 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 5, which is 5 to the 8th. Yeah. Can you just be 5 squared to the 4th power? That's what this is. And that's what this is. So yes, but, but yes. So yes, just like this. So the pro we're representing the same thing in many different ways. Because we could also write that as 390,625. 
but that's longer. So since mathematicians are efficient, not lazy, efficiency tells us to use the power. Jeff, have you guys gotten the scientific notation at all? Uh, yeah, we've used a little bit of it. Okay, because that's our next chapter. So I, uh, we have yeah. used scientific a little bit. You guys get very used to like our first names because we use them a lot. Yeah, to be honest, um, I'm like Mr. Mr. Mendrinks, last name is hard enough for me to say that I'm just used to it. Yeah. Well, hard enough, Jeff is just easy. Yeah. Try. Actually, I want to see. I'm going to give you two minutes. I bet you can work through everything that's on the screen. Actually, I bet you you can work through everything that's left on the front of this paper. Okay. Give it a shot. Two minutes. Maybe two and a half. If I'm feeling nice. Stick up a hand. If you're having any issues, I would love to help you. Okay. This whole, as far as you can get, two and a half minutes. You can get to the back. You can get to the back with the speed. novel about a kid and his relationship with his father and Aww, but I but I thought you were gonna say mountain here, but they end up on Everest so his dad's like this famous um, expedition leader that like takes expeditions up Everest so this, the book starts with him getting caught uh, climbing a skyscraper in um, New York and he gets like arrested and instead of getting put in juvie his dad says look I'll just take him out of the country so that's yeah so that's his dad takes him to Kathmandu, and then that's from there they go to Everest. Uh, 20 seconds. I don't really understand the whole last part. Sweet. We'll get there. Make sure you ask. Um, so like this last part, you mean? No, I get like the whole like numerical like threshold exponent. I want to see how much you guys could do on your own without my help. Wait, wait. So remember how we wrote 16 as a power of 2? Uh -huh. And we wrote 8 as a power of 2? Uh -huh. We can write a lot of numbers as expressions of a different number to a power that will come out to be that value. So like, Four, we could write as two squared. Nine, we could write as three squared. So, let's start down through these. Sean, on this first one here, how'd you figure out which one's bigger? Or what is the you right side? Give the example. Uh, did I scooch? All right, sorry. I just realized something. You can use two to get as long as you can number. Yeah. Not ever. Because remember, it keeps doubling. It will skip. Not adding, we're multiplying twos. No, but yeah, you can do. But that's not powers. Yeah. Right, because right, every time you add three, it alternates between evens and odds. You're you're getting interested in mathematical sequences and series. Dig deeper into that, but we don't do that right now. So Sean, up here, three to the sixth compared to three squared times three to the third. Greater than because my right side is really three to the fifth, and if I was you, I would write that down there. Ozzy, what about B? You said equal because that right side becomes seven to the fourth. Noah, what about C? So let's check this. What's the right side become? 
What's the right side become now? One fourth to the tenth. And what that means is it's going to be 1 to the 10th over 4 to the 10th. This left side... Hey guys, please stop talking, because I bet a lot of you haven't realized this yet. Is 1 to the 16th over 4 to the 16th. What happens as my powers get bigger? What happens as my powers get bigger? So, as my power gets bigger, my numbers get bigger, right? But 1 never changes size. It's always 1. So, 4 to the 16th compared to 4 to the 10th, which denominator would be bigger? Now, anybody, which denominator would be bigger? Uh, one, um, the, one, 4 to the 16th. The one with the bigger power. So, when my denominator's bigger that makes the fraction smaller, and this, check on your paper, I bet a lot of you got it wrong, is uh, no. less than, oh. and my smart board is possessed. <laughs> it's seriously just like drug it down as if there was something, there. but less than. I think it's a bug. Because this one over four to the tenth would actually be bigger, even though they're both tiny. Guys, stop the side comments. I got like four minutes left. So we will um, wrap this tomorrow. Like, I've got a couple minutes left, but obviously we're not making it the rest of the way through this. So we'll wrap this tomorrow. Um, I might even just say test on Wednesday. No. Whoa. Whoa. Let's do it. Whoa. Yes. Why? I'm Who's wrong. struggling with this? I'm Nobody. Wrong. Let's do it right now. We're not struggling. Right now, let's do it. I would know if you're struggling. I'm giving the test right now. Let's do it. Whoa. I already did it. But so at earliest, it'd be Wednesday. At latest, it'd be Thursday. So prepare your test. It's either going to be Wednesday or Thursday. Now, hold up. I got to capture this. No, we don't play as many games because we got to get through things faster. Yeah, go to the morning. I got a nice I got a nice one. I got a nice one. I got I got a I got I got I um, Jaslyn, when I look at 9 to the 12th, sorry, senior classmates are struggling today, when I look at 9 to the 12th compared to that right side, what's that right side become? Ooh, 9 to the 33rd. Yeah. So, what is my symbol in the middle there? Um, 9 to the 12th is less than. Yeah, less than. So, this intro right here, and this kind of lines up well because we're not going to solve any of these today. This intro right here sets up what we're really looking at next. And I give you a little taste of this working with those twos up top. But I can rewrite perfect squares as their square root squared. So 25 is a perfect square. It's the result of a number squared. So I can rewrite that as 5 squared. But when I do that, this 19 did not change. It is still 25 to the 19th. This 5 squared is just the 25. So the 19 doesn't change, but now this is going to combine powers and it will become 5 to the 38. So tomorrow when we pick up, we're going to look at rewriting. How do I change that 9 into a base of 3? How do I change that 4 into a base of 2? I'm going on a cruise on Wednesday while we're going to Huh. Yeah, they're always saying.